in Detroit. But we're going to start with a simple ceremony celebrating the Constitution, citizenship, and new Americans. We've talked and we've debated a lot in Michigan about immigration reform, who gets to be here, who gets to stay, and becoming an American. Well, this past week, we sat in on a naturalization ceremony welcoming new Americans and new Detroiters. One Detroit producer, Zosette Gear, has the story. It's a sweltering September day as Wayne State students scurry to their next class. But one group is braving the heat for a special occasion on Gullen Mall. So when people ask, what is the secret of America's greatness? You can tell them, our immigrants. 25 people from 15 different countries will take the oath to finally become United States citizens. That you will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law, and that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, so help you God. If so, state, I do. I do. Well, congratulations, you're new Americans now. This is Citizenship and Constitution Day, and it kicks off Constitution Week. Professor Mark Kruman came up with the idea to hold a naturalization ceremony to commemorate both occasions. To me, it's that conjoining of citizenship and constitution that make the day so compelling and make naturalization ceremony on that day so compelling because it speaks beautifully to people who want to belong and to people we want to belong to our political family. The path to naturalization for citizen candidates can be a lengthy process. To get to this point, they have to demonstrate good moral character, continuity of residency, and show an understanding of American civics and the English language. You get a much better appreciation for your own story and you recognize that um, people put a lot of effort to come to this country to create a better opportunity for their families. Uh, I'm a fortunate person to be able to have been born in the United States, to have taken advantage of the opportunities, but, but that I had family who tried to, to create that opportunity for me. And, and to folks here today are no different. They, they want the best for themselves, for their family, uh, and for the long term. And that's why, in the end, it's a celebration. And, these folks have a great appreciation for what it takes to become a U.S. citizen. God bless America. It's also not cheap. The current filing fee just for the application for naturalization is listed at $725. But for these new Americans, citizenship seems to outweigh the cost. Harsh Gopal, yes? Now that he's a citizen, Hirsch Voss looks forward to speeding up the petitioning process for his wife, who's back in India. We are the married since last December, and I came here in January. I never see her like since last 10 months. We every day we talk on the phone. That's hard as well. We, we just talk to each other, but not a presence with her. <laughs> Wayne State student Zenia Burdo looks forward to traveling more but is looking to stay in Detroit for the long term. Detroit is becoming a hot spot, and it's just overwhelming how many people, you know, devoting their lives to see Detroit grow and expand. It's just mesmerizing. Vandana, Surendra. As longtime permanent residents, the Kulkarnis have built a life in America. It's definitely still the, the place. Those who want to work hard and make it, it's, there's no other country comes close by. As new citizens, they're looking forward to finally being able to vote. Now we are not bystanders and just watching the elections and, you know, wish it was a little different so we can actually participate and hopefully it'll make a difference. They worked so hard for this day. They've really sacrificed a lot, studied hard, and uh, for them it's a very exciting, never to be forgotten moment in their lives and, and that just enlivens me as well. I think it speaks to what this country is about as far as diversity goes. We are a nation of immigrants, and I think this just helps paint that picture for people and allows them to kind of see that immigration is not a bad word, immigration is not a bad thing. These are folks, they're citizens just like you and me, and they have all the same rights and responsibilities.
Congratulations to all the new citizens.